Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borick, and please continue to subscribe down below or above and these views widget at the end. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far to help us reach a goal of 215 or more by the end of March. This is going to be the next edition of the grittiest take slash the ghostly take, as this year these guys are signed to PTO for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But I think one of them, at least whether it's Darian Hansen or William Rydell will latch on with the Phantoms because they need as much young talent in there as they can get. They overplay veterans way too much down there. So it'll be nice to have these guys come in. William Rydell, we'll start with him because he was the captain of Ohio State this year and played a fantastic season, has a good reach, is good in his defensive zone, has the ability to pass, and also can pot in a few, but probably more of a Robert Hag level uh, in terms of scoring goals defenseman. Um, not in terms of his overall game whatsoever, but in terms of storing goals. Uh, his overall game, though, he will knock guys off the puck. He's 6'2". I think he'll probably put on a little bit more weight as he grows his age 26-27 season. But he's a guy, if he plays well in Lehigh, even though he's starting with a PTO, I don't think he's a guy that's going to need that much time Um, if we actually are retooling this and doing it as we should do the program in Philadelphia and not rush it and just screw over the team uh, for the future further. But he's a good pickup. He played very good at Lake Superior State when he was there, and then he played great in the Big Ten. The WCHA obviously is not as strong as the Big Ten, but he played fantastic in the Big Ten in his final season at college, which was actually one of his best seasons in a much tougher conference, or league since they call it league. I'm in hockey, not conference. But when it comes to Darian Hansen, he also transferred uh, from the ECAC Union College, where another flyer uh, played for before, to Hockey East, where he played fantastic. He also played fantastic at Union. He was a very good goalie for three years at Union College. And then at the University of Connecticut, was even better this year with a whopping 224 goals against and a 923. But, I mean, the stats are one thing, but he's a guy that's 24 years old, has already got the experience in colleges from the USHL. He actually played for the Phantoms, Youngstown Phantoms. Um and he played really good for them. Um, his numbers don't speak to it, but that has to go with team more than that. He played in the BCHL and went off with the Vernon Vipers. And then now he made success for himself in college. He seems like a guy that I think the Phantoms honestly should have kept Garrett Melkaeff with how well he played for Utah as a youngster. They keep, for some reason, not keeping certain guys that play well, and it's annoying. But hopefully if Darian Hansen does really well, to actually keep him around and let him stay in, build in this uh, system that already has good goaltending in Carrillo, Stamenko, in Felix Anstrom, and in Samuel Orson when he's healthy, and then they have veteran Pat Nagel around as well. So this team already has very good goaltending. It's just about, plus then with the Reading Royals, they have a couple guys, uh, as well as Logan Flodell, who's down on the ECHL, has been loaned up in the uh, AHL and beat Utica. So maybe he's somebody the Flyers kind of have their eyes on and sight lines on because we know other AHL teams do. So... Darian Hansen is a good signing. William Rydell is also a good signing for the Phantoms, the PTOs. And I think one of these guys, especially Rydell, because that'll be sooner. The Flyers aren't going to need goaltending because they have a bunch of goaltending. So Hansen will to just naturally probably give more time unless if he goes ballistic. But um, Rydell, I could see being up by the time he, he's 26, which would be at the end of next season. Because if he plays well, he's already at an age you're going to want to give him a shot. And he's already had the great experience um, in college, uh, plus in the NAHL <clears throat> um, in a young age as well. And then now finished off having a fantastic season in the tough Big Ten League. So I think he's definitely poised to have a good start in Lehigh and then continue to build from there. And so is Darian Hansen. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take slash the Grittiest Take. As hopefully one of these guys will eventually have an impact on the Flyers as they hope to continue to develop undrafted talent, which sometimes they seem better at doing than actually their drafted talent. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please continue to subscribe down below. Or up above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel going and growing. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far.